put your house in order is not an easy play to talk about. Ew, gross, uh, yeah. I, I mean, sorry. Uh, I don't know what I'm allowed to say on camera. <laughs> Lillian Brown is directing Ike Holter's new play, and there are certain things that need to be kept secret until the curtain goes up. I am playing Roland, and Roland is a uh, teacher. He is a young is it a spoiler if I say that he's a... I think it is. I'm trying not to give spoilers away. That's actor Besa Dabu. He's currently in rehearsals for the play. This play to me is a date night that turns into a thriller. It's a millennial rom-com that's also a thrill ride. Director Brown is willing to expand on that. I would say it's a fast-paced modern horror play with a rom-com chewy center. Actress Shannon Metesky plays Caroline. I say that it's a, an apocalypse play about the end of the world, and only one of us survives. <laughs> and I think the conceit of this play is, you know, what if your, your date was essentially, potentially the last date you ever went on, and you didn't know it at the outset? Placing a first date against the backdrop of a possible apocalypse can make the everyday seem epic. It raises the stakes. Everything gets heightened and everything gets elevated and it sort of makes people cut through the crap. Put Your House in Order examines how people connect under difficult and potentially life-threatening circumstances. And since it's a play about millennials, there's a dependence on cell phones. Can you put the phone down? Yeah! And social media. Social media is a, is a small character in this play. I don't know, I think about it in real life. I live in Los Angeles and when, when there's a shaking I go to Twitter first to see if there was an earthquake and where it is. I don't go to the news. I go to Twitter because Twitter is going to have the most up-to-date, most accurate information without bias. And it is another character in this play. And especially with so many of us leaning on that, I think the author is also drawing to attention of what happens when you can't rely on that anymore. Then what do you do? And I hope that that enlightens for some folks in our generation to say, hey, you know, what is your disaster relief plan? And what is life beyond your phone? Or what is connection? Yeah, beyond totally. the digital space. The connection that occurs within a theater space is very different from what can happen with other media. Yeah, and, and on, on film or television, there's something about the camera being two inches away from the person's face, which we don't get in theater. But what we do get in theater is the audience is in the same room as loud noises. They're in the same room as the screams. Or the sirens. What was that? I don't know. I'm sorry, Sirens, what you know? actually was that? I don't even know what that actually was. I don't know. I've never heard that around here before in my life, okay? Dang, like... What you can't see in this rehearsal is how the set adds to the production. Audiences will actually get to see the house that needs to be put in order. I love this house. It's really, really... It was really lovely to be able to dream something this big on this scale. I mean, that thing goes almost all the way up to the grid, and it's just vast. So it's going to really feel like a real setting, and I, I think that makes it even creepier. I can't wait for people to see it, because I think they're going to walk in having no idea or maybe an inkling of what they assume, and then they're going to find a whole different world. I can't wait to feel people's hair stand on the back of their necks, because I know it's going to happen. I just hope people uh, come away from this play going, oh my god, holy crap, oh my god, I did not expect that to happen, oh my god and they're thinking about it and talking about it for like at least the next week. That's, that's the reaction that we think we're gonna get. And that's why we're closely guarding some of the secrets of the play because if we don't have the element of surprise, it's just not as fun. Who are you talking to? <laughs> no spoilers, but that's one of the surprises of Put Your House in Order, that it can find humor and horror side by side with the apocalypse just on the horizon. And maybe that's a feeling audiences today will identify with. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.